Hi there, Geminis. Welcome to your reading. When I was shuffling the cards, um, the, the cards were really, really stuck together. And it was hard for me to make out the image that I saw. But what I did see was um, I saw this ballerina. She's wearing, you know, the um, she's wearing like a pink, a pink outfit with a tutu. And she, her hair is in a bun. She looks about 20. And she is on this stage. It doesn't look like a ballet stage. Um, she's just twirling. She's just spinning. And the, the spectator, there were a lot of people, the spectators uh, amongst the crowd. And she's by herself just on stage twirling. And there were two men um, in the front row looking at her. And she's just twirling, 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 twirling. And I feel almost like the twirling motion when I saw that, I intuitively sense that, you know, you're going around and around and around in your head as to what decisions you need to make. And you're also going around and around in circles in regards to another person. So that's what it feels like to me. It's like, it's the merry-go-around. The same patterns keep recurring. The same things. We fight, we break up. We get back together, we fight, we break up, and then we get back together. So that's what it feels like to me. It, it just feels very unsettled. And it just feels like there might potentially be, you know, a lot of people that you have to choose from. And um, aside from that, what it feels to me is um, the spotlight is on you. So you're getting a lot of visibility, good or bad. And, you know, um, whenever we are very visible, when things go right, we reap all the glory. And then when things go wrong, all eyes turn to us as to we might be seen as the scapegoat or we might be seen or, you know, unrealistic expectations imposed upon us. And people expect you to fix the problem. That's what it feels like with this heavy spotlight on you and you're spinning, spinning. Um, I feel like, you know, the, the next two weeks will be a very busy time for you. Um, I feel like it's there's a lot to do. It's almost like, you know, keeping everything in the air, keeping things afloat, taking care of a lot of responsibilities. And, you know, the spinning motion just indicates to me, like, you just need to block people out. Um, I, I feel, you know, dizziness, uh, lightheadedness, being a little bit overworked or stressed out or just dealing with a situation where you're trying to avoid something. That's what it feels like to me. So honestly, the energy doesn't have to be rough. I feel like the key for you is to get yourself very, very grounded, okay? Um, the spinning motion makes me feel very, very dizzy. And so the trick to that is, you know, how do you ground yourself, first of all? Uh, grounding yourself means don't speculate about the future. Don't think about the past. Live in the moment. Anticipate what's happening in the present moment so that you are grounding yourself in the present moment. Okay? So whatever decisions you have been procrastinating on, I feel like that's what's really... Um, it's like rather than focusing on that one decision so that you can make a decision... I feel like you might also be distracting yourself with too many things to avoid making the decision or you are seeing the decision. So for example, if the decision is about is between two people, two houses, where am I going to live? Which property should I buy? Let's just say that. Let, let's make it simple. Um, if it's a decision between two different properties, rather than basing the decision on, you know, just the practical uh, mundane and even the present moment you're projecting so far into the future if I go with property a um, it's gonna require you know further commute to my work it's a two-bedroom and I might want to have another child further down the line and if you know it's a two-bedroom then we're gonna need to relocate so I feel like you're projecting so far ahead into the future and speculating what would happen rather than making the decision based on this present moment and that's why I feel like it's hard to make the decision okay so all of it is speculative all of it is just in your head um, 
it's almost like every decision that we make it leads to more decision and that's just the way life works and so if we plan so far ahead and we we out of fear or out of you know that sense of uncertainty not make the initial decision it can be very problematic so that's what i feel is happening here um so let's talk about the the two people okay there there were two men in the audience looking at this ballerina um i feel like one is really proud of her and then i felt like the other one was like mesmerized by her like i have to have her that's what it feels like to me um the way that this that energy is transposed into this spread i definitely feel like there's a lot of people here i have an air sign an aquarius a gemini and a libra and then i have an earth sign a taurus a virgo and a capricorn so we have here the king of pentacles in the reverse position I feel like there might have been some recent arguments between you and this person okay some falling out some recent arguments some some type of a situation where you're not able to see eye to eye with this person and I feel almost like one person made a mistake that's what it feels like to me one person made a mistake um, but rather than talking about you know what exactly happened let's talk through this so that we know who's at fault and then it doesn't you know the pattern doesn't repeat I just feel almost like things are glossed over a lot and because of that the two of you have never been able to you know um, arrived at a conclusion what exactly happened who is at fault do we both say we're sorry or does the the person is the the person at fault the only one that is liable to say sorry so I feel like there were definitely this merry this is constant merry-go-around this twirling back and forth between you and this person and things the same arguments the same problems keep uh, re resurfacing um, for some of you in the work environment this is also like work related where I feel like one person is doing something they're not supposed to but they never get chastised for it for some of you this could be a colleague others of you this could be like a higher up somebody that has like a little bit of immunity there's a sense of favoritism there's a sense of like oh that's not fair you know everyone here has worked really hard this person is coasting why are they getting the preferential treatment so there's that element here about somebody getting away with things and they should be chastised for it they should be reprimanded they should be getting demerits or demotions even or you know um some type of a chastisement but they're not so they're they're getting a a, a clean break and it's not really fair and i feel i feel like you're aware of the situation and I feel, I don't know if you have spoken about this in the past or have spoken out about it in the past or have brought it to your higher ups attention, but nothing is getting resolved. Okay. And the reason why I feel like it's not getting resolved is whoever is up high on the chain of command, they, they have their own constraints that they're dealing with as well. And in this day and age, I feel like it's really hard to just fire somebody. You have to like give them opportunities to reform. You have to, you know, give them a certain time frame. So I feel like the, the higher ups, their hands might be tied. Okay. Maybe there is also pressure from their higher ups for whatever reason. If this person is getting preferential treatment, they could be linked up with, you know, your boss's boss, for example. And that might be why they're uh, coasting so i feel like there's an element of uh, un unfairness it's, it's definitely there it's definitely there and um i i can't tell you you know it's going to get resolved but i feel like we have to learn strategies to to work around problems okay if we can fix it that would be great however if a si situation continues to exist we have to learn strategies to cope with it to manage it so that it's not 
bothering us and that we can learn to just leave it at work when we get home does that make sense so i feel like a lot of the times we are confronted with situations so that we can learn new ways of looking at things or we can learn new ways to manage our emotions so i feel like it is emotional management for you this is the lesson that you kind of have to learn in this situation it's going to be there it's going to be you know that uh the, the problem is going to exist but how do we um, manage our response to it our emotional responses to it so that it doesn't affect us so that it doesn't so that we don't you know let internalize it and we don't let it ruin our day pretty much okay um so what i see in the spread we have two kings and you know the cards are not gender specific okay i i feel i i honestly feel though there's third parties um in this situation what i have here is the four of wands this is a marriage card i have as well the ten of cups a family wedding um family unit type of a card i have here the two of cups so a lot of this is indicating to me um it's like you're married, but you might be in love with somebody else. You're in a relationship, but you might be uh, finding an emotional connection outside of the relationship. And we also have, as well, the Seven of Swords. This is sneaky behavior. Um, once again, I feel like I'm going to try to relay the, the messages because they are coming in very quickly. And that tends to happen a lot with Gemini readings. It's interesting. So, first of all, I feel like, you know, some of you are at a point where you want a commitment. And someone is, is like, you might be in a relationship with someone who might be, you know, your soulmate. Who might be very much in love with you. You're also very much in love with them. But they're trying to get their life in order. They're trying to, you know, build up their career, build up their finances um stabilize themselves and they might be at a job where you know it, it takes a lot out of them they're not happy and they want to bring their best towards you and so they might not make a commitment or they might not be able to propose to you or they might not be able to uh, move in with you or have you move in with them they might not be able to commit to buying property together mainly because they're trying to sort out some big things in their lives. They're trying to sort out their career. Am I happy here? Can I see myself in, you know, in this position or in this company or in this organization or in this geographical location five, 10 years from now? If they can't even say to themselves, you know, yes, um, then it's really hard for them to commit to you. And because of that, I feel like you're dealing with someone who's quite responsible they don't bite off more than they could chew and they don't start things they can't finish and that might be why the commitment is not uh, there yet and as a result of it i just feel like you know there's a uh, this sense of um feeling a little bit disappointed because of that lack of commitment okay um, I also feel some of you are in a marriage relationship and you're thinking about somebody else outside of the relationship and what you have is a very strong soul connection and emotional connection and I almost feel like the word is like an emotional affair with somebody outside of the relationship so it might not be you know a physical affair like you're you're not um, sleeping with somebody outside of the relationship but you're heavily thinking about that person and when you're with your significant other I feel like you're thinking about the other person and and even the thoughts make you feel guilty you know an affair is an affair, an emotional affair, even though it's not physical, it still makes you feel guilty. So I feel like somebody is dealing with some guilt as it relates to an emotional affair. And then I feel like other people, there might be two couples, 
you know, they're in a relationship, you're in a relationship, and you both are having affairs, uh, physical or emotional. So I, I feel like there are a lot of people in this spread. Um, I definitely see you Gemini's trying to do the right thing. You know, like um, if you have children, if you're with somebody that you love, um, I feel like, you know, you're trying to do the right thing. You're trying to fight the urges or you're trying to, you know, keep the family unit intact. You're trying to take care of your responsibilities as well. And I feel for some of you who are in a relationship, you might be attracted to somebody who might be like a boss, a supervisor, or somebody who is in a position of power. So I see that element. And then I also feel like somebody, especially a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, somebody who's already in a relationship, possibly being attracted to you because of your charm, charisma, status, authority. Okay, so I, I feel like they're looking at you because you're because you have a lot of power under you. Like you have a lot of um, you you might be in a big position, and I feel like you know they they might already be in a relationship, but they're eyeing you. Um, I don't see them. I see them like. Um, taking opportunities to come and talk to you. I see that, but I feel like they try to keep things very platonic and very professional, but they're definitely interested in you. And I feel like for, for the, you know, once again, the energy could be switched, okay? Just keep that in mind um, because we do have people who are cross-watching, so the energies could be switched, but I, I feel almost like there's an element about being married or being in a relationship, but in love with somebody outside of the relationship. And I, I do see guilt. I do see a lot of guilt. So I feel like it might have been a physical affair. Um, there's conflict here. What I feel is uh, there's conflict with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And I feel like there is finances linked up with it. Okay, so like financial, divvying up assets, uh, reparations, um, giving money to, to somebody in order to appease them. That's what I'm feeling. And I feel like it's a conflict if it's you, between you and an earth sign or you and a, an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, it's a conflict that no one's going to win. So they're really urging here to um, kind of... I, I see like they're urging you to kind of reach a compromise sooner rather than later. Try to reach a compromise. Try to restore, restore peace and harmony into the situation. And I feel like it's going to be, um, I, I see it escalating until the April time frame, And I feel like it might not be good to let it drag on until then. Okay, so whatever conflict it is, you might want to try your best to resolve it. Um, I'm hearing the, the words like uh, incomplete home. So I don't know if you guys are doing like physical re renovations on your home. Like if there is a, a part of the home, part of the building even, for, for those of you who are working, like a part of a, a work building that's constantly under construction. And it just seems like, it seems like it's a, becoming a problem or a hindrance to the workflow. So something is constantly being worked on. Something is constantly under construction, under renovation. And it's hard to, you know, figure out for example if it's a house it's hard to buy furniture because that place you don't know what it's going to look like it's hard to it's just frustrating because you know your your home is your haven but if it's 
if there are people constantly coming and going, if there's a flurry of activities, it's hard for you to feel at peace. So I don't know if you're dealing with noise situations or just a lot of people just coming and going. And then from one day to the next, the, the, the scene or the landscape keeps changing or things get moved around. So it's a little bit chaotic. People might not be where they need to be. So even if it's a work environment, you're trying to flag down somebody or trying to find somebody and they're they're constantly being um, uprooted and sent somewhere else or, you know, reassigned. So that that's what I feel. And it, it seems like it's a little bit frustrating. I feel like, you know, Gemini's, you like a certain amount of stability and a certain amount of constancy in your life. And the situation, I feel like it's just, uh, it's easily preventable, but somebody's not getting things done fast enough, as fast as you would like. Um, I feel like, you know, give it until like April, everything's going to be done and everything's going to run smoothly. Okay, so in the meantime, just be very patient. I'm also sensing for some of you, um, you might be dealing with somebody or somebody might be dealing with someone who might have mental health issues. Depression, I'm seeing, um, and I, I feel like, you know, postpartum depression for those that are dealing with, well, with women, uh, postpartum depression, like, um, it's just hormonal imbalances, but I feel like mild to moderate depression, postpartum depression, those things did come out. And um, I feel like some of you, there's there's some guilt here as well. There's some guilt here. And Gemini's, if you have, you know, someone that you really, really love and you have found out, you have found out that they, you know, had an affair. I, I feel almost like it might have been found out and swept under the rug and pretended like nothing happened for the sake of preserving the family unit. And I feel like if this has already happened and you're kind of just going through the motions, you know, I, I feel like that that's something that's happened, like somebody was having an affair and then the spouse found out. And so whoever was having the affair didn't know that their significant other found out and the significant other just swept the information under the rug, which was, it's not so much about denial. It's more about, I love this person so much that I can't bear the thought of leaving them you know it, it makes me feel so painful like it, it just feels like there's so much love here that you're willing to forgive someone for everything that they have done and you're willing to suffer a lot of the times the the infidelity you know it's like suffering the shame or suffering in silence because you love the other person or the other person loves you so much they don't want to confront you or you don't want to confront them so somebody's sweeping things under the rug because they don't want to deal with that confrontation and they don't want to because there's just too much love like it doesn't change anything i still love them i still want to be with them that's how powerful it feels to me and if it has been found out and i feel like it has been found out then the two of you are trying to work at things, but they're, the two of you are trying to work at things because at the heart of it, you love each other, but there's definitely the wandering eyes, you know, somebody with roving eyes looking around, looking for an opportunity to exit, looking for an opportunity to, you know, and I, I feel like somebody is in love or is, is, um, is being pursued by like a higher up, being pursued by somebody in a position of power so if it's like your boss or your supervisor you're in a sticky situation where you can't say no but at the same time you're in a situation where you want to say no I feel like you might not even be interested in them 
but you're trying to put it gently to them so that it, they don't sabotage your career. That's how I how bad I feel like it is. So you're dealing with some heavy things, Gemini. I feel like the advice for you is once again, you know, focus on what's really important to you. Focus on what's really important to you. Um, try to stay grounded in the present moment and make decisions one step at a time, one day at a time. Otherwise, you're going to inundate yourself with so many possibilities and so many choices. And then you get to the point where you're stunned and you don't want to act or you don't want to make a decision. So that, that's what I'm feeling. And I'm really, really sorry if the energy is a little bit heavy. It feels a little bit heavy. I just feel like I, I just feel like there's there's something that's constantly under construction. A relationship, for example, that constant merry-go-round. Um, make up, break up, and then make up and then break up. And I feel as well trying your best like somebody's trying their best to do the right thing trying their very very best to do the right thing but there there is this element of temptation so i'm just gonna leave it at that gemini i hope it is helpful i don't feel like i'm able to give you anything meaningful or helpful but i hope you know in whatever way this resonates with you i hope that it is helpful and uh, I, I would urge you, you know, to do the right thing. Try to harmonize the situation, okay? I know, like, the energies are just, um, I, I feel like the reading, you're being pulled in different directions. Hence the spinning. It's almost like not being able to find a safe place to land. That's what it feels like to me. You're constantly spinning. And it's getting tiresome, and then you're getting dizzy. Okay? Um, just... Try to do some meditation. Try to ground yourself for this um, for this month or, yeah, the, the rest of this month. And before you say something, you really need to ask yourself, you know, what is my objective? What am I hoping to achieve? Whatever I'm about to say, is that going to help me with my objective? Is that going to help me achieve what I am trying to achieve? And I feel like some things don't need to be said that's what it feels like to me some things can be held in some things don't need to be revealed some things don't need to be said okay i hope it is helpful for you guys i'm really sorry for the grim reading um but i feel like you know things are going to stabilize themselves okay best of luck with everything i'll be back in january and hopefully we can clear this up okay talk to you later